Sean Franker. And Nicole Smith. From Blood Iron Martial Arts. We're here today to talk to you about stealing the initiative. A lot of people have some really misconstrued ideas about how to defend yourself with a sword. They think you just stick the sword in front of your body in a really rigid and blocky position. Now, you can hardly blame them for this. Most sword fighting in television is absolutely appalling. And in video games, they use the same animations for almost every block. However, if it's your life on the line, you might want to do things a little more effectively. When people think of a typical sword block, they throw the sword in front of their body, tip up, and hope it stops the sword. Or even worse, they do the same thing with their arms bent, which really weakens your structure. This is surprisingly unhelpful. Even if you do manage to block the attack, there's nothing to stop your opponent from continuing. And let's say I did block the second attack. Am I going to block the third, the fourth? My opponent's not going to stop throwing cuts unless I force them to. A better way to defend yourself is take the energy your opponent is throwing at you and throw it right back at them. This is important to effective swordsmanship. If I put a rigid parry in front of my body, I can't do it. This guard works because I defend myself and allow his energy to pass and shed and redirect it toward his head. Another way to steal their initiative is to deflect their attack while bringing your own point online for a thrust. This is also effective against lighter cuts as well as thrusts. Another good way to defend yourself is to deflect their attack while keeping your own sword moving so you can quickly counter. There are a number of ways to do this, but a lot of them involve using the back edge of the sword. Being able to threaten your opponent while you're defending yourself is an important part of the European martial arts tradition. Even more highly prized is being able to defend yourself and attack your opponent at the same time. Look forward to that video in the future. In the meantime, we hope you've enjoyed learning what sword fighting should actually look like. Okay.